have the rather nice looking Xnova 402000 kV. It's rated for 2200 watts, which is around 350 watts and 90 kV more than the stock Gowie X5 motor. The slots in the top are a centrifugal fan that drags air up through the stator, helping to keep it all cool as well as it making it look pretty. Something that caught me out was the 6mm shaft versus the 5mm shaft for the stock motor. I decided to keep the same gearing. This combined with a slightly higher KV will up the head speed slightly as well as giving the speed controller a little more headroom to allow the governor to maintain the head speed through manoeuvres. The only pinion that I could find that was 0.8 mod was the Outrage Fusion 50 pinion. It is a lot taller than the stock pinion so I had to fiddle around a little to get it to clear the front canopy mount and frame spacer. This involved opening the hole in the motor mount a little to clear the pinion to allow it to sit closer to the motor. Hi dude! Hi dude, this is the X-Saver battery, it's rather cool! <laughs> rather! Rather! Did I say X over battery or X over motor? I think I said battery, didn't I? Battery, yeah. Yeah, uh, Opti Power battery, Vortex. Uh, running about 2 8. Now you go up now, okay? Uh -huh. As you can see, this is the worst case scenario to test for temperatures and flight time. I was personally keeping the model moving using lots of collectives and flight tricks. My cameraman's potty mouth says it all. It's got a lot of power. The temperature of the motor and the ESD at the end of the flight were best described as lukewarm. Neither were painful to hold on to, which is a good rule for electronics and nitro engines. The battery, on the other hand, had definitely been worked pretty hard, which you would expect with flying like this. Plus, these are the older 32 packs. This tells us that the efficiency is good. If it wasn't, then everything would be getting hot and get very short flight times. If every flight was like this, I would have to keep the flight time to 4 minutes, which is a little down on what I was getting with a stock motor. However, the laws of physics say that the power has to come from somewhere, so the shorter flight times are to be expected if you abuse the power. I'm sure that once the novelty wears off, I will be able to put the timer back to 4.30. Oh, am I kidding? On a scale of awesomeness, this thing gets a 10. Bucket loads of power, good efficiency, and a massive grin. Looks damn good too. motors.com for more information a link to the spec sheet is in the description below yeah!